Hello, this is Sudipta from Technical Potpourri. So today I'll be talking about modules in JavaScript. So let's get started. So before we start, let's understand like what is a module in JavaScript. So to understand that, let's understand like, you know, why we need modules in JavaScript. The reason is that when you're working in a JavaScript project and your project is going bigger and bigger, it is very much necessary that you need to distribute your, in your co distribute your code into multiple files. It doesn't make sense to put all your code in the same file and it, then your file becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So it's a good practice that you distribute your file into distribute your code into multiple files by doing some logical grouping based on the functionalities. Now, when you are doing that, when you are basically, you know, distributing your code into multiple files, you are basically creating modules in JavaScript. So in a very nutshell, a module is basically a JavaScript file that can contain classes, variables, functions, which are logically related. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focusing on basic concept of how you can create a module, how you can import and export from or in a module, and there are some consideration like, you know, what you should know when you're working with modules. And, and I believe the best way to learn is by going through some code. So without any further delay, let's jump into, into some code. So here I am, I have a very basic setup. I'm using the VS code and uh, this is my HTML file. And what I am going to do, I'm going to create a module and the name of the module let's say i'm putting the module uh, inside a folder called module and the name of the module is let's say operations.js and what i'm going to do i'm going to create two functions here uh, one function will do uh, addition like function add two numbers and then returning the addition addition of those two numbers and there is subtract and there is a constant so in the inside this module or in, inside this file i've created two function add and subtract and create a constant now what i want to do i want to export this i want to export this so that other people can import and use that so the way to do that i need to put this statement which is export followed by the add which is the first function subtract and the name so this is the way how you can export uh, content from module and here you can see like you know i've exported function i've exported a constant a variable so you can basically export everything from a function uh, from a module so this is this is called named export there is two type of export possible. One is called named export and another is called default export. So this is a named export. So let me explain what, what do you mean by a default export? So let me explain how we'll do the default export. So for that, let me create another JavaScript file called math.js. And inside the math.js, let me put the content of the math.js here. It's a switch and then uh, based on that parameter passed, it will do either addition, minus, multiplication, uh, divide or error. But look at the, look at this statement here. It's an export default function. So this is the way you can do an export, a default export. So if I go back to my previous example, this is a named export and this math.js is our default export. Uh, one thing that you need to keep in mind while you are working with the default export or while you are planning for a default export, there is only one default export possible in a module. So basically you can't, you cannot make another default export in the same file. You need to create a new module and do that. So this is basically the two ways how you can import and how, how you can export uh, contents from module. So with that, let me create a file which will basically do the import so export is done but without importing and there is no point of you know doing the export nobody is going to use that right so to that let me create another file which will do the import so for that let me create a file here my work sorry my work dot js and the first thing i want to do let me close math i want to import 
uh, whatever is exported from this operation.js. So the first thing that I need to do, I need to do the import here. And this is the way I can do the import. Let me stop the close that. So it's an import followed by what are the things that you want to do an import from and which file. The name of the file we know operations.js. And once we do that, then we can do all our operations. Like we can put an add result. We can start using this one. If I put add result at 10 and 15. We can uh, subtract result, which is basically subtract 150. And then we can start printing them. Like here is add result. Yep. This is a subtract result. And also we have exported a constant and the name of the constant is this. So we can do everything. So it should be a semicolon here. It should be a semicolon here. Yes. With that, I have imported all these functions and the variable which was exported from this module and then I've used that. So now let me go ahead and add that here. Uh, what is the name? Is it capital M? No, it's small m. So module slash my work dot chess. And if I do that in my this window in my console, I can see the first is 10 plus 15, which is 25. 100 minus 50, which is 50, and name, which is exported from, which is imported from uh, operations, and the value is Sudipta Dev. That's why my name is getting printed here. So, this is the way how we can import a variable, import a function from a module. Let's say there are so many things you know exported and you don't want to uh, add everything one by one. So you, what you can do instead of all this thing, you can just put star, which will basically import everything. But in that case, you need to give a alias or some name which you can refer. Let's say mm, my all import and then this and what you need to do here instead of add you need to use that my this one dot add in the subtract this one and here it will be this one if you use that you'll get your result back so basically this is a way using the star you can import everything without writing uh, individual name and but you need to give a name uh, give, give a alias which you can refer while uh, while referencing those variables or the function let's say you want to import all of them right but don't want to use this add you want to give your own name so that is also possible so you can import add as my add so subtract as my subtract and name as my name so instead of using add here, you are giving it a new name. So this is the one and then start using that name here. And then this my name here. And you will exactly get the same result back. So this is the way you can import uh, things and give them a new name. Now I'll show you how you can import a default export. So you remember like, you know, uh, whatever we are doing here, it's everything from this operation An operation is doing a named export, but we have a file math.chase, which is basically do an ex uh, default export. So in case of default export, how we can use that in our, uh, how we can import that, right? So to that, what we need to basically do, we need to write this one. So we are doing, we are import do math, just giving a name and from math.js. And then what we can do, we can start calling them this way. So do math and then do math is basically giving a name of the function, do math and then para passing the parameter add 10 and 12. While it's minus, I'm passing 112 and if I close that I'm getting my result back here so this is a way how you can import a default export you give a name 
and then use that name to call the function by passing your parameters. The things that you need to know, the value of the imported items are read only, which means they cannot be changed. And modules in the JavaScript support live binding. That means if the value of the property changes in the main module, it will reflect in the all the modules where it is imported. For example, like, you know, this is the module which is imported. So let's say tomorrow uh, here, I want to add one more here, like 10 by default. So everything will change. You see, instead of 22, it's become 32. So it's a live binding. Anything you change here, everywhere where this module is being, where this function is being imported, it will get, it will get the new result. And uh, modules in JavaScript are always wasted to the beginning of the current scope, which means that it doesn't matter whether you write your import statement at the beginning or at the end, it will always be wasted at the beginning of the beginning of your file. So these are the two, these are the few things that you need to keep your mind while you are working with uh, module import and export. Okay, so I hope uh, this video is helpful for you to understand uh, how to work with modules in JavaScript. So if you like this video, please share and hit the like icon and please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.